Now in this video, we're going to do a very simple experiment. We're going to find out if one packet of wine yeast, which is supposed to be good for five gallons of wine, is going to ferment any faster than a quarter of a teaspoon of wine yeast in one gallon containers of juice. We're going to find out which is going to ferment faster over a two week period. Hi, I'm Charles and welcome to DIY Fermentation, your site for doing fermentation on a shoestring budget. Now to conduct this experiment, I'll be using the following. I've got two gallons of apple juice, and that's 100% juice with no preservatives. I have four cups of sugar, white granulated sugar. We're gonna be using the juice of one half of a lemon. I've got two packs of Red Star Premier Block Wine Yeast, quarter of a teaspoon measuring spoon, scale to measure out our sugar. We'll be using two carboys, and along with two carboys, we need two airlocks with two bunks. I need a large pot. This is an eight quart pot. Larger would be better. To conduct our experiment, to make our measurements, we'll be using a hydrometer and testing tube. And of course, as I always like to say, using your food grade sanitizer of choice, whether it's one stand or sar stand, we want to make sure that everything is properly cleaned and sanitized. All right, to start, we're going to go ahead and add in six quarts of our apple juice. A couple of reasons why we're only putting in six quarts. One, these are three quart containers. And two, we're also going to be adding in that four cups of sugar in a little bit. So we want to make sure we've got room for that sugar. Our third reason is that this is just an eight quart pot, so two gallons is going to max this bad boy out. All right, let's try the stove on. And let's warm this up a little bit. We don't want it boiling. We just want it warm so we can help dissolve our sugar. And to help keep things from dropping into our experiment unexpectedly, let's go ahead and put a lid on that. Okay, I think that's warm enough. I mean, you can leave your hand on the side of the pot and it's not that hot. And just to be able to same side, this will come in at, just for you people who are really sticklers on what it is that I'm doing. Looks like I've got a temperature reading of, wait for it to steady out here. I mean, this is supposed to be an instant read thermometer, but it takes its time. Yep, looks like it's going to steady up at 112 degrees. More than enough to do what we need to do. Because what we need to do at this point is to take our four cups of sugar and add that to the mix. And stir until incorporated. Like so. Put our cover back on and let that and let's let that come down to room temperature. You know what? Now is also a good time to go ahead and add in our lemon juice, which is acting as our acid blend, which is going to give our wine a little bit of acidity and brightness. Yeah, just a good, a good squeeze is all that's required. And that's all there is to it. Then let's put our cover back on. Now it's getting the two carboys as close to being equal as I can possibly eyeball it. I was going to weigh it, but my scale only goes up to five pounds and this exceeds that. I've decided to add another cup of water, a uh, cup of juice to each in order to reduce some of this head space. So here we go with the juice.
And that's as close to being equal as I'm going to get. Hey, let's go ahead and take that initial hydrometer reading. Find out where we stand. And it looks like that initial hydrometer reading is coming in at 1.084. All right, let's go ahead and add in our yeast. In this one, this is the one where we're going to put in a full pack of yeast. And in this one, this is the one we're going to put in our quarter of a teaspoon of yeast. Quarter of a teaspoon, kind of like leveled off. Where that in? Now we've got some yeast still in the neck of the carboy, so even though we've got some yeast beginning to filter down, let's go ahead and see if we can make sure we get as much of that yeast in there as we can. And same on the quarter of a teaspoon side. Get as much of that yeast down there as we can. And following that, the next thing we want to do is put in our airlocks. Now, just so that we do not forget which one is which, let's go ahead and label these. Apple wine. And this one is the one that, as both of them did, came in at 1.084 on the hydrometer. And this one is the one where we used a full package of wine yeast. Now on the other one, again, we're going to label as such, wine yeast or apple wine. And again, date we started in the hydrometer reading. And fill it. And the important part is to make sure that we know that this one is the one where we used a quarter of a teaspoon of yeast. Now, this video, of course, is just an experiment to track the fermentation progress over the next two weeks. However, I do have two batches of apple wine, which I will carry out to term. This is a one-year project. I will say that uh, I will do another hydrometer reading tomorrow, and another one a week later, and another one at the final two-week mark. And then we'll find out which one is actually fermented more than the other if any of them have. All right, after 24 hours, a couple of things to note. One, the apple wine that had a full package is definitely a lighter shade than the quarter teaspoon version of it. Another thing that was noticed was that the full package carboy actually foamed up quite a bit. It almost made it through the airlock. It stopped about right there. That was not a problem that occurred with the quarter teaspoon version. Uh, they both tend to be fermenting roughly about the same speed, but uh, definitely the full package. But definitely the full package definitely had a, had a much quicker start in getting fermentation started. It's now been one week since we started making our, our wines. It's now time to do a hydrometer reading to find out how much, if anything, has changed between the two. And it looks like the hydrometer reading for the one-pack batch is coming in at 1.012.
And the hydrometer reading on the quarter teaspoon batch is coming in at 1.042. Now, if we take a moment to compare the rate of CO2 release at a two-week period between the quarter of a teaspoon sample and the full packet sample, you can see that the full packet sample has reduced its rate of uh, bubbling quite a bit compared to the quarter packet. Now, just in case anybody's curious as to the temperature of the wine, um, before I take the hydrometer reading, it's coming in at 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's start by taking the hydrometer reading of the quarter teaspoon batch. And it looks like that initial hydrometer reading is coming in at 1.010. If we take a hydrometer sample of the full package of wine yeast, we end up with a hydrometer reading of what it looks like 0.998. Okay, with the results being in, we now know, as if there was really any doubt, that the full package of yeast is going to ferment a lot faster than the quarter teaspoon of yeast. But it should also be pointed out that, let's just be honest, unless we're planning on drinking this within the next two or three weeks, the numbers aren't going to matter because they're both going to go dry, which means they're both going to go to 9.990 or 994, somewhere in that range. We're looking at the long haul here. It'll be at least 12 months before I drink either one of these. And during that time, there are going to be several rackings. At the end of the process, since they're both going to go dry, we're just going to be, we're going to back sweep them. We're going to, we're going to pasteurize them. We're going to bottle them, cork them, maybe cap them. But basically, we're going for the long haul here. The fact that this one can do it maybe one or two weeks faster than this one can do it, does that really matter? Well, not really. But then again, you have to consider the cost. This was a full package of wine yeast. I don't care if you're using bread yeast, it's a full package, which is good for five gallons of wine. This is only one gallon. Quarter of a teaspoon is good for one gallon, and that's what I've been using on this channel almost all along. Very few exceptions. So, there you go. That's my take on which one is going to ferment faster. If there's any going to be any kind of a difference, now we know. Well, now I know. Uh, so, again, if you like what you see here, please click on that subscribe button. Better yet, become a member. Better yet, become a Patreon and help support this channel out so I can continue to do more of these type videos. So until then, I'll see you.